I'm currently five or six metres under the streets of Warsaw. And it's no exaggeration to say that when you walk on the streets of Warsaw, you're walking on the graves of tens of thousands of people who were murdered and executed. Thousands of people who fought for the city's freedom. Warsaw's story is quite extraordinary. It's quite unique. Because this is a city which didn't accept slavery. It rose up on the 1st of August 1944 the whole of the city taken over by the Polish resistance. The German response to that attack was something quite extraordinary. Hitler ordered that every stone, every building, be completely destroyed so that Warsaw would be raised from the face of the earth. Lightly armed and left alone, unaided by their allies just a few dozen kilometers away, the Polish resistance put up the most extraordinary fight that any capital city had seen in the whole of the Second World War. More people died here, in Warsaw, above us, and in these sewers, in those few days than in the whole of France during the whole of the Second World War. So I'm absolutely delighted to announce that together with the Polish Security Printing Works we'll be launching a new series called 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage in which we describe the story of the incredible men, women and children who fought here in Warsaw. Every single day from the first day of the uprising to the last day we'll be releasing a short one or two minute film in the English language which will be going out on my channel. This is the first time that anybody has ever attempted to tell the story of the Warsaw Uprising in English and in video in the places where it really happened. And it won't just be tactics and strategy, we'll be hearing the story of those men, women and children who fought above us and died in the tunnels in which we're now in. I'm absolutely delighted that the Polish Security Printing Works have been able to make this project happen. You're going to see a side of Warsaw that you would never get if you came here as a tourist. And this project will be hosted on the Polish Security Printing Works special website for this project, 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage in the Future. Now this has all been made possible because of the foundation uh, the Fortress Polish Security Printing Works, one of which is aims is to make sure that foreigners, English language speakers, non-Polish speakers, learn about Poland's history and the story of Warsaw. And that is because for 27 days, Polish Security Printing Works was a key fortress in the north of the Old Town. If that fortress remained, the Old Town was safe. If it fell, the entire battle for Warsaw was in doubt. I invite you now to support this project by tuning in every day at 5pm Warsaw time, 11am Eastern Standard Time for each episode of this story, 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage, 5pm Warsaw time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Dziękuję serdecznie, thank you very much. From the sewers of Warsaw, the city that survived its own death.